happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm going to <clears throat> wait a few minutes before I start talking so we can have a few people join us. Hi, happy Sunday. Hi, everybody. Hi. I love you guys too. Thank you. Please don't make me cry. <laughs> I'm a big crybaby right now. I'm going to give it a few minutes so I can talk to you all. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. Oh, hi, little Miss Nia. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I came on just so I can talk to you guys just for a couple of minutes. Hi, everybody. Ooh. Hi, thank you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the prayers. Hey, yo, Indigo Art. Oh, my God. Hey, everybody. Hi. Bobby Gillette. Hi. Thank you, guys. The Core 94. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mama Rama, I love you. Hug the kids. Hug Stoke for me. <clears throat> thank you, Dr. Maley. Oh, hi, hi, hello, hello, hello. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am alive. I am working my way back to uh, full health. I am so grateful. Um, I don't know how to explain to you all what this experience has been. Contracting COVID, the, I had the Delta variant. Um, it's the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. And God is amazing. He's amazing. Um, and I'm on, I know people were saying, I'll oh, just go live. I, I looked horrible. I felt horrible. And I'm not about to make excuses for that because I think that anybody with any level of understanding, if you've ever had any kind of an illness, it didn't even have to be COVID, you understand and people, people convalesce differently. I did not want to be on camera looking and feeling the way I felt. Um, this, this has been one of the most excruciating, um, painful experiences of my life. Um, I was very sick. Um, I did flatline. The doctors were able to bring me back. Um, and I'm doing this because I want to explain to anybody that doesn't know it what long COVID is and what it does. Um, and everybody is different. For me, what long COVID has been, it's been um, me having to learn how to use my lungs again to get them to full capacity. I didn't just have COVID, but I also had COVID pneumonia. I had double pneumonia in both of my lungs. And even when I was released from the hospital, my left lung was damaged and my right lung was severely diminished. So coming out of the hospital, um, I was on oxygen for four weeks, oxygen at home for four weeks, um, connected to an oxygen machine in my bed. Um, just again, not, anything that I ever thought that I would be dealing with. Um, I had a long wire so that if I had to go to the bathroom, that I would be able to wear my oxygen when I went to the bathroom. I was on a, it, it was a long wire, but really a short string because I couldn't go much further than from my bed to my bathroom at home. Um, I did tell you all that I wasn't missing, I wasn't. I had a physical therapist coming to see me twice a week after I was released from the hospital, as well as a nurse who came to check my vitals and to make sure that my oxygen was working correctly. Um, 
I've had several people reach out to me who had severe cases of COVID and who perhaps are experiencing uh, what is considered long COVID. And they really understand because for me coming on the other side of COVID, um, if I wanted to sing a song right now, I could probably sing it, but not full out. Um, can't do a concert because I don't have the capacity or the stamina to get through an entire concert just yet. Since being out of the hospital, I do have to have respiratory therapy. Um, I have to see a cardiologist. That's probably been one of the hardest things to accept because I've never had any kind of issues like that. Um, up until just a couple of weeks ago, even though I wasn't connected to an oxygen machine every single day, I do have a portable oxygen concentrator. It's only been two weeks that I haven't had to use the concentrator on a regular basis. So I am breathing 100% on my own right now. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time or really just, I'm just gonna say this, no one would do this for attention. If you've never had a near death experience, then you couldn't possibly understand what it is to go through this in your mind. The night terrors, being afraid to go to sleep because you think if you go to sleep, you're not gonna wake up in the morning. Um, it's very hard to deal with anybody when you can't figure out how to deal with yourself. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. What I will say is God is good. What I will say is God is faithful. What I will say is healing is the children's bread. What I will say is I'm a child of God and so the bread of healing belongs to me and I receive that 100%. Um, I am following doctor's orders. Um, I am following up with several doctors, respiratory therapy, a cardiologist, a hematologist. There's a lot that happens when you come on the other side of COVID after having a case as severe as mine. But I am fully persuaded that not only will I be back to 100% Kelly talking to you guys often on social media, but back not just on a stage, but yeah, in a pulpit too, um, in, in sittings and in, in, in seatings where I can talk to people and give this new part of my testimony of how God allowed me to escape death and gave me another opportunity to either make right what I haven't had right before or do what I haven't had a chance to do yet. Um, I wanna carry on this conversation about long COVID because I think it's important for people to understand, especially in the communities of people of color and, and the underserved communities and those of us who are by our culture or color have been more disenfranchised than other communities. So many people have reached out to tell me about their long COVID stories, their, their COVID experiences, their ICU experiences. And I wanna to talk to you. Um, so this really is just me going on the record of saying, if you have had this experience, if you have been caring for someone who had an extreme case of COVID or taking care of someone who is experiencing long COVID because of their symptoms after coming out of the hospital, if you are in fact that person, I want to talk to you because I feel like we need to educate people, excuse me, <clears throat> on what that's like. Um, the fatigue is real. COVID fog is real. I suffered from short-term memory loss. Um, um, I, I literally have sat in one spot at points in times and it's taken me an hour or two to figure out how to do things that I would normally do on a daily basis because I couldn't figure out how to put the pieces together to get it done. I was in the hospital um, and too embarrassed to call for the nurse to assist me to go to the bathroom and just sat there and had to tell myself, Kelly, it's okay, call the nurse. That's what they're here for. God bless the nurses. Um, thank you to everybody that was a part of my team who assisted when I was in the hospital, those who came to take care of me when I was released and, and had to convalesce at home, the nurses, the physical therapists who came, the ones who helped me walk again to teach me how to hold my weight up uh, on my own legs. Um, all of that is real. And if you've never experienced it again, just pray that you never have to. I am a miracle. 
I don't look like what I've been through. I know that the road ahead of me is intense, but there's nothing too hard for God. I am not a Bible thumper. I am not perfect, but I am a child of the King. And I do believe that if I am still here, it's because there's a work that I have to finish that I haven't done. And I believe that God spared me so that I can do it. So my goal is to do everything it is that I need to do so that I can get better and do what I was born to do. It's bigger than a song. It's bigger than a live. It's bigger than an IG post. It's God, what did you send me here for? And that's my focus. And I'll say it again to those who get it, thank you. And to those who don't, thank you. Because I'm not here for anybody other than what God sent me here to be, to, to be here for. And that's my focus. That's my focus. Um, I've said it to several people. A dead Kelly does nobody any good. A severely incapacitated Kelly does nobody any good. A Kelly who is so afraid of dying that she can't live does nobody any good. So I thank God. I thank God for my doctors. I thank God for my husband who, while he was so sick with COVID himself, pretty much disregarded what he needed to do for himself to make sure that I was okay, to make sure that I had my medicines when I was supposed to get them, who spoke multiple times a day with my doctors to make sure that when he was in the house that he was administering them on time, in time, in the right doses. I don't know anybody in exp and any explanations about that, but I do know that if I didn't have that, that is very likely that I wouldn't be here right now. So husband, I am grateful for you. You are amazing. And for anybody that doesn't know it, then too bad for them because I know exactly who you are and thank you. Um, he worked very hard to keep me healthy and to keep me alive while he himself was sick. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, guys, I love you. Um, please, uh, I'll say it again to anybody who has experienced uh, long COVID, whether it's you as a caretaker or you who has lived through it, I want to hear from you. Please send me a message. Let's have the conversation so people understand what this is really about. Um, thank you so much. Um, this is for you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your well wishes. Thank you for the love. Thank you for all of it. Um, I'm working hard every day and me and the doctors are getting it in because I won't be satisfied until I'm not who I was before this, but better than I've ever been, um, as a human, as a person, um, all of it. it it's not even about a song. It's about being who I was called to be, being who I was born to be. And that's my goal. That's my goal. So I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend and a great Sunday. Um, I look forward to giving you more updates. If you are a survivor of COVID and are experiencing long COVID symptoms, I want to talk to you. I want to go live with you in the coming days and in the coming weeks. So please send me a message so I can contact you and we can inform the public about what this disease is doing and what happens when you find yourself um, in this battle or post this battle dealing with the long-term effects of it. God bless you guys. I love you. I can't wait to see you in person. Um, I am healing. I am following doctor's orders and I'm doing everything it is that I need to do so that I can be in the same room with all of you at some point um, sooner than later. Okay. Happy Sunday. Take care. God bless.